Tonight, after 41 years, a police officer who loves his job is retiring, and not because he wants to. And police officers in Massachusetts can't work past 65, and they have to retire at the end of their birthday month, which, as I learned from Watertown Police Sergeant Jeff Pugilis, makes today's celebration of his career bittersweet. And one thing that Jeff there is no assignment at this roll call for Watertown Sergeant Jeff Pugilis. It's a send-off and a celebration of a stellar career in law enforcement. It, this is probably the finest profession in the world to have, in my opinion. Why? It, it's just, it, it's exciting, and you get to help a lot of people. You do have to deal with a lot of bad people, but just the feeling of helping people is incredible. Especially in the community he grew up in, one of 11 children, and the son of a Watertown detective. I knew I wanted to do this when I was about 16 years old. I decided I wanted to be a police officer. He enlisted in the Army at 17, went in at 18, and became a military police officer in Germany, where he met his wife, Connie. He comes home with funny stories. He comes home with sad stories. And one story that made him a national hero. The night of the Watertown shootout, Sergeant Pugilis took down Marathon bomber Tamerlan Zarnaev. We were just six feet, seven feet apart. The only thing separating us was a four-foot chain link fence. We were exchanging gunfire, and his, his gun, uh, it, now we know it ran out of ammunition, but at the time I didn't know if it jammed or ran out. And you know, he, he stopped, he, he literally looked, went like this, looked at the gun, looked at me when we made eye contact, and then he threw the gun at me and hit me in the shoulder with it. And then he took off running towards the other police officers, and that's when I holstered up and chased after him and tackled him. That's where he was standing in the shootout. The holes in that house are from the bullets he dodged. It does have an effect on you. You know, you think back, you know, how lucky you were to, to survive it. And, you know, and you just, I, I, it's just very difficult to put into words. But ask him what he'll miss in retirement, and he can't say enough about people. Driving around and, and, and talking to the people that I know, even the camaraderie in the building, the, the wise cracking at each other and, you know, ridiculing each other, guy stuff. Now it's guy girl stuff, but, you know, but we do. We tease each other all the time. We have a lot of laughs. I'm not ready to retire yet. That may work out well at home. We have a yard. He can. Do the planting. My son has a yard. He plus my son is eager for him to retire, so Dad can help him. Their son, a Watertown firefighter, and daughter are here, along with cousins and nephews, also in law enforcement. It makes this final roll call even more special, but not any easier. I think it's going to be a hard day. You know, this is. I love this profession. I really do.